We are seeing explosions rather than implosions, a first in demolition history. A sequenced rumble becomes a roar as debris is thrown outward. The damage is not contained. Even the windows are blown from neighborhood buildings. What kind of energy enabled this? Would fire hurl metal and concrete sideways into the air? Here, a 600,000 pound chunk of steel, twice the weight of a Boeing airliner, was flung 400 feet, wedging itself deep into three World Financial Center on Vesey Street. A FEMA photographer taking pictures of Ground Zero wondered why so many steel beams were jutting from neighborhood buildings. What shot pieces of the towers all the way across the street? In April 2006, New Yorkers were distressed to learn that bone fragments, human remains from 9-11, had been found on the roof of the nearby Deutsche Bank building. And how in, in God's name did those fragments get there? It surprised me that there was still bone fragments or human remains that had not been discovered. How is it possible that after five years they're finally looking on the rooftops of the, of the Deutsche building? I mean, that's crazy. And bone fragments less than a centimeter long. How could they be so small? So much to be explained. Why did the South Tower fall first when it was the second tower to be hit? Watch the top of Tower 2 leaning outward, about to topple. Then suddenly, it disintegrates in midair. What causes this giant slab of steel and concrete to turn into dust before our eyes? Watch both buildings collapsing straight down, directly into the path of most resistance, which is all the floors and all the mass of the building itself.